Good afternoon and welcome to your tutorials on the use of your DBTC G Suite account. My name is Mr. Ian Bessina and uh, I will be teaching you how to do it. So let's get it on. If uh, you have other kinds of browsers like uh, Mozilla Firefox or uh, mm, let's say mm, Opera, uh, that will do well. Any modern browser will do. But first things first, when you are going to uh, access your DBTC account using um, Google Chrome browser, you have to make sure that uh, no one else is logged in. You should log out of uh, that account first. Say for example, someone else had been using this browser previously, so all I have to do is just to click on that, cir uh, on that circle beside those three dots. See someone is logged in so all I need to do is just to sign out of that account by clicking sign out that's it and then just for good measure I'll click also on this one when I enter google.com and click sign out now I'm totally signed out I could sign in as uh, my own user when you have that dbtc uh, G Suite account you have to log in to your Gmail account to your email there you go by typing gmail.com so first thing you have to sign in using uh, the username given to you and click next then you have to enter your password given uh, the password given to you if you notice i did not save it in uh, my social media account like facebook and those things that is a no-no you should at best try to be secure so you are not going to uh, share your uh, login information with anyone perhaps except only with your parents and you have to save it let's say on a piece of paper or in your hard drive but never store your username and password online and once you're in you have to accept the terms and conditions so that's what we're going to do you have to click accept and once you've clicked ok it will load gmail and there you go you will have your gmail inbox for um, your dbtc g suite account always check your email your teachers are going to communicate with you through this official email you can also access all other services of uh, G Suite for Don Bosco Technical College so how do we do that just click beside your icon just click at the nine dots it says Google Apps and there it goes so you have your account, you have your YouTube, you have your Gmail, you have your Google Drive, Google Meet, Calendar, and the most important part of it is your classroom. And there it goes. Since there is the, you, this is your first time to uh, uh, open your Google Classroom, you have to join the classes. You will be given class codes, and in order to join these classes, you have to join your class by clicking the plus sign as uh, indicated here in the instructions there you go then you either join create I'll choose join class there it goes and you enter the class code I have already copied that and now I'm just going to paste it in like so and click join there it goes and after clicking join instantly I'll be part of that classroom if you have noticed this part is what we call the classroom stream please don't just depend on the upcoming work required by your teacher no at all times read the classroom stream by clicking here and read everything because sometimes class works are posted here instructions are posted here and um, that will help you access them then there's an assignment once you have clicked 
that whole assignment or homework, you can give private comments to your teacher by saying, Hi, teacher. I will work today. And instantly, it gives a notice to your teacher that you were able to work at this time. Comment on the classroom stream, if allowed by your teacher. But please read in the classroom stream. Now, let's move up. This is your first assignment, and it's worth 10 points. It says, getting to know you, open the document and answer. You only have until tomorrow, 9 a.m. All right. So... Here we go. Let's check it out. Oh, after clicking it, the file will open to you. It could be this kind of a file or a document. It's called um, a doc or a Google doc. And uh, it's similar to your Microsoft Word. You can format it by centering or left align. You can make it bold, you can choose your fonts, you can insert pictures and all other things that can be done in Microsoft Word. So in this uh, assignment, it says in three sentences, introduce yourself by describing what computer and gadget related things interest to you. I'm interested in mobile legends. Well, that's, an, what, that's just an example. I also love to play Steam games. Finally, I like to make my own games. There you go. Or let me add a little something. My own games using Scratch. There it goes. So I guess uh, one, two, three sentences. Perfect. Now I can turn it in. Just click, turn in. And voila. It's already submitted. Turn in. One attachment will be submitted to getting to know you. Don George Zen, homework one, turn in. Turning in. There it goes. It's now submitted. If you want to uh, unsubmit, you can always click the unsubmit button. If you wish to do so, that's no problem. No problemo. So that's how you deal with homeworks. How do I get to access these uh, works and uh, as well as resources? Well, you can do that by clicking on Classwork. There you go. So there are two topics. There you go. First one is how to be safe online. Second one is getting to know you. Home that's the homework. This one is how to be safe online. You can open it. There's the, the topic, how to be safe online. Watch this video and be safe. I'll do it now. And click on it and watch it. Maybe I'll watch this one later. Okay, so that's one thing. You can watch the videos provided to you and read them and uh, answer your homework. But um, I would say some teachers would want things to be even uh, more secure. They want you to answer things when you're done with your first activity. So where do you find them? Let's go back again to classroom stream because you will be able to access, access many things from simple posts in here mostly links all you need to do is read them click on them 
What else can you do with classwork? Of course, you can see your Google Calendar if your teacher has scheduled something for you for the day or maybe for the next uh, few days or maybe even the next week you can find them here in the Google Calendar change time zone to Philippine Standard Time yes okay let's change it to Philippines there it goes so here's the time now and if there would be an exam on Saturday or there would be an exam on Monday you'll be able to see them here your teacher could post the schedule so you will all be informed simple as that what else apart from calendar I can close this one now what else can we access we can access your class drive folder that's where your teacher sometimes could drop the files that he or she wants you to open so it instantly opens uh, Google Drive okay and this is your Google Drive actually and it says 112.1 MB of 15 gig being used that means you have as much as 15 gigabytes to use that's lots of storage so uh, we got the class drive folder calendar and of course you can view your work so you have your first work getting to know you you have turned it in and that's good that's very good I can click back and now I can check out this last part it's called people so there's my teacher and if I have classmates already they'll just appear all the way down here and you wish to communicate with them you can do so now if you want to check your other classes you can always click on classes if you want to check your calendar you can still click on calendar and if there's a to-do list from your teachers you can click on to-do list but then again do not depend on these you have to open your classes you have to read the stream and finally you have to read your email especially if your teacher has something for you to do through email what else can we do using your mm, G Suite account for DBTC let's click again the Google Apps and uh, we can try some other things like down here we got Google Docs as I have introduced earlier Google Docs is similar to Microsoft Word and yes it can also create something that is pre-formatted just like Microsoft Word if you need to make your resume they already have a format for your resume if you want to make a project proposal they can do the same as well and there's a lot resumes a lot letters you need to write a formal letter that's nice pet resume your recipe your project proposal meeting notes brochures newsletters if your teacher is asking you to make a newsletter there is already a template for that and so many others so that's one and uh, let me just start with blank okay the basics in the use of Google Docs is that you should always name your document there it goes name your document my first document and if you want to download that to your to your hard drive to your computer you can do that as well by clicking file then download as Microsoft Word yes it can download as Microsoft Word and if you don't want anyone to change it then you can download it as a PDF document not an issue so I'll just type anything here and then another there you go and if your teacher is asking you to work on it as a group what can you do you can click share button there you go click share button got it then 
change to anyone with the link not really to anyone anyone in dbtc with the link uh, right now i have marked them as a viewer i would i should allow them to edit okay editor there you go then copy the link click copy link then click done there you go and now you can share it with some other friends let's say i'll open here another tab and uh, paste it the link is there and i open it when i open it i can edit it as another person like a uh, hi there there you go see the other person hello and when i open it from the other tab it says hello see you can now work together on the same project so let's say page one is mine page two belongs to john page three belongs to peter that's not an issue you can always click share button get the link okay can edit copy link and uh, got it done and share it with others you can use your email to send it to your friends hey work this out with me and that's not an issue for as long as they are also students in dbtc they have their dbtc account they're allowed by your teacher to do that you're good to go okay so you now know how to share your links what else do you need to learn I'll teach you how to use slides Google slides is similar to PowerPoint and just like PowerPoint there are so many templates that you can use to make your slides so beautiful or at least uh, presentable so there you go that's a template that I chose all you have to do is just to modify the contents and after modifying the contents you can share it with your friends of course you can share it with your classmates if you want them to see it you can always let them see it mm -hmm. same thing instead of uh, making them edit you don't want your teacher to find out that they changed it you just want them to give a feedback then you turn it to commenter then copy link and then done and then you can share it with your teammates like that and your teammates here could make a comment like a comment right click comment you did not change anything yet let's work tonight 8 p.m there you go if you want the specific uh, person to uh, use this uh, to work on this i can edit this and uh, assign it to someone like uh, i am that Bessina at uh, dbtc cebu.edu.ph. There you go. You did not change anything yet. Let's work tonight at 8 p.m. And since the username is here, there you go, he will be notified that he's going to work here. Simple, but it's very effective. And of course, don't forget to uh, share things uh, with the person like uh, allow the person to comment or allow the person to edit if allowed by your teacher there goes uh, Google Slides and the last but not the least definitely is uh, uh, have Google Hangouts there you go so I already have two friends in my Google Hangouts if I need to add my classmates here, I can always add my new classmate. Let's say, uh, 
at uh, dbtc dash cebu dot edu dot ph there you go there it goes so uh, I can invite him in a different way let's say let's work on our project there you go send invite or let's uh, be more polite hi classmate let's work on our project and that message would be sent and the person has to accept the invitation before you get to communicate and you can also communicate as a class as a group so all you need to do is create a new conversation click new group okay so I can enter this one and enter this one now you have a group made of two people and you can add more people if you need to and if you wish to share the link you can make them join by clicking on the link you just have to provide the link for them copy the link then share it with them and you can now join in the same conversation this is a uh, project one there you go there is an official uh, video uh, call application for the class and it's called uh, Google Meet it's right here your teacher will provide you a meeting code you just have to type it in and then join and your part the Google Meet but if you want to uh, simply meet with your uh, group mates in Google Hangouts you can click on it and then start a video call with all of them so there goes that's how you work your uh, DBTC G Suite account for starters if you have uh, questions don't hesitate uh, to get in touch with me at ian.lucina at dbtc-cebu.edu.ph or you can always visit this YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye.